So the other thing you always need for watercolors is a nice little clean jar of water to start with. And that's for dipping the paint brushes in. So again, here's the, the paint box. And we're gonna open that up. And you'll see there's some kind of dried up blobs of paint here in the paint tray. And that's okay, they're, even though they're dried up, all you have to do is take a brush and put a little water on them. And they're perfectly good to keep using. So we're gonna just pick out an average size brush and get it wet. Now we're gonna open up this drawer where the tubes of paint are. And she already has some blue and some yellow and some orange, so I'm gonna find something that she doesn't have yet. Maybe uh, a nice light blue. Oh, that's black, no. There's a nice, yellow ochre, which is sort of a golden color. And you just squeeze a blob of it into these little compartments. And be generous, just squeeze a bunch in there because it'll last for a long time. Just because you put it out there and doesn't mean it's only for today. Okay, so you, she can help you decide which colors to put out just so she has a nice assortment. Then she can actually start mixing the colors on this little tray right here. So first we're gonna need some paper. And she has these little paper blocks that are nice because they don't curl up. You, If you leave the painting on the little block until it's dry, then you can take a, like a butter knife and you can find this little opening on the side here and you can stick the knife in and go around and take the painting off and then you have a nice fresh sheet on the block for the next day. But you could even leave this on there until the next day so it's completely dry and then you cut it off and then you have a new sheet underneath. <laughs> Pat also likes to continue working on a painting that she started. So you could ask her that the next day. Does she want to keep working on the same painting or would she like to start with a fresh sheet of paper? Either way is fine. So now she knows what to do. She's a very good artist. So she knows that if she doesn't have just the right green here that she wants, she can make it. She can make a nice green with some blue, and some yellow and she's got green now so she knows how to play and mix and that's what this area is for it might get kind of mucky and messy and that's okay and then she can start painting and sometimes when you, she knows if she wants to change color she'll wash out her brush like this and then she'll get another color to do her sky or whatever else she wants to do on her painting and then sometimes it's, it's nice when you're doing watercolors sometimes you might even like to dry something a little there is a bowl of paper towel under here too so you know sometimes there's too much puddling she might want to you know, do that Whatever. but when she's done painting you just leave that picture on that block and we'll make sure she always has some of these blocks. And then um, you can kind of rinse out the brush. She might have several brushes out because sometimes it's nice to use more than one size. And that's okay, you just rinse them out at the end. And then you can take your paper towel and just kind of squoosh them so they're nicely shaped. And then you put them like this with the handle side down into this little cup where they can dry. And then, again, you don't have to do anything with these paints. The best thing is just to let this dry out because it can be used again the next day. However, you, if there are pools of water, you could, uh, you could ask her if she wants to dry it up a little bit. And then you could just take a paper towel and just kind of daub it a little bit so it's not so sloppy. But you could just leave it open like that now on top of the cart and just let it dry that way.
or if you if and especially if it's still wet here but if you've got it somewhat dried off you can also close it like this and then you could put the painting because you want it to dry you could put it back in the little the second drawer here where the little paper blocks are you could put it in there and then the next day you and Pat could talk about whether you're going to start fresh or keep working on that one and we'll just put that in there see here's another little water block in here and i'm going to just show you one more time how these water blocks have a sealed edge all the way around that keeps the paper from curling up but when you're all done there's a place where you can slip a knife in and go around and take the old painting off once it's completely dry and then you'll have a clean sheet to start with. So that's how to paint with Pat's watercolors and the best thing is to just always only use these tubes of paint here with this little tray here, the little paint tray. Um, some of the other paints that we sometimes find in her room she really doesn't know how to use them and they they don't work as well with her brushes and her paper so if we just stick to this type of paint and this tray and these little pads we will keep you supplied with all of that and we think she'll be the happiest with the results of her painting and thank you so much for helping her with this it really makes a big difference for all of us